of our historical and hysterical past. It's been a half century of struggle for respect, recognition, remuneration, and statutory authority. Loretta had a major vision for advanced practice. We are really honored that we carry that legacy and bring access to health care to communities that otherwise would not be able to have medical attention. I became a nurse practitioner to help meet the needs of the population in rural areas that really needed access to quality primary care providers. Hundreds of studies over the last 50 years have, have proven time and time again that Nurse practitioner practice is, is high quality, safe, effective, and outcomes are equal to and sometimes better than the outcomes of our physician counterparts. A lot of the challenges that were out there 30, 40 years ago are the same challenges today, and so it's kind of just starting that, making sure we never lose sight of what our goal is, and that's to improve patient care and access to care. It's a commonality between the military and civilian practices and that we're all here really to have one fight and help push legislature forward to change our practice and become as independent as we possibly can. It's time to remove a needless layer of bureaucracy and give them the tools they need to succeed and I yield back the balance of my time. First of all, I started out as a nurse, and then I went back to school and I added some of the tools of medicine, but I never lost my nursing. I brought that caring, that ability to listen carefully, and I think that's what nursing brings to primary care. Obviously, nurse practitioners are a key part of that. Uh, uh, those prevention strategies where most of the nurse practitioners, uh, or a great percentage of nurse practitioners work in primary health care. Without the health wagon, many people would get no care at all. These nurse practitioners offer kindness with expertise. They're making a difference one patient at a time. AAMP continues to work on eliminating all of the barriers for nurse practitioner care. Whether it's at the federal level or at the state level, we want to eliminate all the barriers. People like you, people like my colleagues, what they bring is a lot of stories, and in those stories is the richness of both the science and the art of practice. And it just, it fires you up. These individuals really inspire me. I'm so very fortunate to be able to work, learn, and practice with so many motivated, highly educated individuals that all have common purpose. challenge to innovate, uh, engage, inquire, invest, and invent uh, creatively and expansively and constantly and continuously. Are you ready for this transfer of power, of control, and money?
and the demands? If not, I will return from the fires of below and haunt you. <laughs> Godspeed.